It's very close. Oh. Is today officially Star Wars Day? Yes. Actually, it's officially Star Wars Day when this episode is released. I don't make yeah. the rules, I'm sorry. Okay. Will? Okay. Will, it's Mute. there. Okay, I'm muting Discord. Holy okay. shit. See. All right, let's go, boys. Oh, weird. So long for this. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is sick. Did you hear Maul also escaped? He didn't escape. I let him out. <laughs> what? Why? Diversion. Come on! That's one word for it. Oh, there he is. Oh my god. This man's a legend. Shake him. Is this the plan of Rex? Was done. And those soldiers, my brothers, are willing to die and take you and me along with them. It's true. Oh shit. Oh, rip Jesse. I think they're all dead, you know. Oh no, never mind. He's going. He's going. Yo. <gasps> oh. This is so epic. That was a cool move. Spinning is a good trick. This has been insane. A shovel? Spider-Man got a shovel? That's such a powerful scene. Okay. They look so cool in the Clone Wars art styles. Holy fuck. No. No way. Holy shit. That's amazing. Oh my god. Well done. What an amazing job. What a great end to an amazing show. Oh my god. Fucking Darth Vader, no way. <laughs> that is insane. So, this video is a bit different as uh, there's no face cam. There's no camera on me. Sorry about that. I know, I know you're all missing that wonderful face. But we have to talk about the final episode of The Clone Wars. And holy shit, was that a good episode. Like, holy fuck. It's over. Clone Wars is finished. And I couldn't have asked for a better ending, if I'm honest. That was amazing. So instead of my normal review where I go over what happened, I'm just going to talk about my feelings towards the Clone Wars. I mean, you've seen my reaction to parts of the episode. So, yeah. Every frame of this episode is like a painting. Like, I'm just looking here, I've got 127 screenshots from that episode. Now a normal episode, let's say, has about, you know, 40, 40 odd, depending on how much is going on in the episode, some, some episodes have less, around 30, 40. This one has 127. So, uh, yeah, it was beautiful. The animation of this episode was insane, and just what happened in this episode was mental. So, the team over at the over who did the Clone Wars, Dave Filoni, the rest of his team did an amazing job. Well done. You could finally rest a bit. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see what comes next from that team. They haven't released anything just yet as to what we can expect to see, but I'm very excited nonetheless. Uh, there, there's rumours of like an Ezra show. See where he went with Thrawn and something. Perhaps. Uh, nothing official has been released for that so far. I mean, it sounds sick nonetheless. And if it's in this art style, then it's going to bang. It just will. And if, if it's on Disney+, Plus, so they can be a bit darker, then amazing. I think that's one of the places where Rebels stumbled, was it was on Disney XD, so they couldn't really show any violence whatsoever. So I feel like if they put it on Disney+, Plus, they'll have a bit more creative freedom, because you can have the, the like kids or family section where... They won't show the violence, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm just looking at these screenshots and every frame is amazing. It looks amazing. They really, really outdid themselves, if I'm honest. What a good episode. You're going to hear me say that a lot. So this is obviously the end of the Clone Wars, and I think it's a really satisfying end. Um, do you remember them saying somewhere that they wanted to give Ahsoka and Rex, like, an end a concrete ending? And this does that, I feel. It perfectly sums up what they went through in the final days of the Clone Wars and how 
Rex just wanted to order 66, which was emotional as fuck. I mean, the scene where they slew the last episode, I almost cried. And then with the uh, clone trooper helmets on Spike, I almost cried as well. So this, these two, these final two episodes of you know really hit an emotional core. I don't think any other animated show could pull this off to the extent that the Clone Wars has. The first thing was released in 2008, and they finished it in 2020 while taking a couple years of not doing anything with it. And I'm really glad they came back to it because this final season was absolutely amazing. Just everything from how they... You can see how the war and how this has taken its toll on them throughout the episode as Ahsoka's getting slower and slower. She's getting more tired from trying to subdue these clones and without killing them. How this is affecting Rex as well because not only does he did he not want to kill Ahsoka but he's also now having to take out his brothers. And he's still proud of them. He's still proud of them even though they're trying to kill him. He's still proud of how they've responded to this which shows his kind of love for his own brothers which... I think it's a really nice touch. I really like the Maul stuff. Maul just creating the sheer amount of chaos that he did was lovely to see. He's fucking class, he is. If he had a lightsaber, he'd been even more insane. But they they kind of nerfed him in that regard, I guess. I think it's interesting that Ahsoka didn't want to kill any of the clone troopers. I mean, she probably killed a few by for eating a massive door at them. But it's... it's it's interesting because even though they're trying to kill her, she doesn't want to kill them. Like, she still has the respect for them. And what's even more fucked up is they're committing Order 66 while wearing helmets with her markings on. Which is... that's fucking crazy. Like, they're there with their nice painted helmets, they've got Ahsoka's helmet. Um, they've got Ahsoka's, like, white markings on their helmets. They're just there, even though they care so much for their general or their past general. they still got to go through the Order 66. It's, it's what it be, it's what it do. It's the inhibitor chip tin, you know? We knew Rex... Well, we knew they were all going to survive. We see them rebels, but not once did that come through my mind when watching the episode, because you could feel how helpless they were, how overwhelming the situation would have been for them. Even though we know they survive, you, you don't think they... You don't think, oh, they survive. You think, oh, shit, they could die here. I mean, Rex and Ahsoka both get shot at one point. It's insane, because they managed to... Imagine if this came out before Rebels. That would be insane. You probably would think they're going to die. And there's that little bit that tells you, oh, it's okay, they survive. But the overwhelming thought is, oh shit, they're in great danger. They could actually die here. We see Ahsoka drop her lightsaber. And then, holy fuck, that ending. Let me tell you about that ending. The whole episode, Ahsoka and Rex trying to fight their way off of the ship. They find a Y-Wing, they dip. But holy fuck, was it such a slog to get there. Mad. But the ending. Holy fuck the ending. Now, I wasn't expecting this. Darth fucking Vader. And he finds Ahsoka's lightsaber. So he obviously thinks Ahsoka's dead. Which is why he's surprised to see her in Rebels. But mad. The scene with Darth Vader with a blue lightsaber. I like it. It has an interesting connection to Darth Vader's concept art design. They might not have thought of that, but it's a it's a fun little connection to make. And then just seeing the Imperial era in the Clone Wars art style is beautiful. I fully believe this is one of the best art styles of any animated TV show there has ever been. Especially this refined version that they have in Season 7. I remember them saying they found a way to make it cheaper while still looking this good. And honestly, hats off to them. They did an amazing job. Looking at from the first Clone Wars movie to this, the progress is insane. They made Ahsoka a likeable character. Not many shows could turn an unliked character into a, into a loved character, but they did have 12 years to do it, I guess. So that would have helped, but she matured with the audience and became an amazing character. So hats off to Dave Filoni and the team for that. Ashley Eckstein did a great job voicing her. I just want to say thank you for completing this. It's been amazing. One of my favourite TV shows, 100%. I remember watching it when it first came on Cartoon Network. Then when it came to Disney XD, I kind of stopped watching. But then I watched it all back. So, yeah, it was really good. 2008 though, mad. Wow, it's been a long time, eh? Anyway. Yeah, I love the episode. It really drained me. Like, emotionally drained. 
watching that episode. But I loved it at the same time. It was great. And yes, I do believe every frame like a painting, as you've seen with all these screenshots I've been playing as I've been talking. I really liked it. It was a really fitting end for both the characters. And we see how Maul escaped as well. So yeah, I wonder where the dark saber is. I can't quite remember where they left the dark saber, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it looks epic. And I'm excited for what they decide to do next, because if those rumors about the animated show are true, that sounds really fucking fun. Um, we didn't get to see the Vong. Kind of a shame. I hope they do a Lost Missions too, where they kind of finish up the ox they didn't finish, like Crystal Crisis. Um, do the Vong stuff. Maybe not the comics because they're comics. But I would love to see Son of Dathomir animated because that would be absolutely insane. It would explain how more got to Mandalore and stuff. So yeah. Lost Missions Volume 2 would be sick. A new animated show in this art style would be sick. Yeah. All round amazing. I will, I will shill for the Clone Wars every goddamn day. I do not care. That shows my childhood. And then now watching it is insane so congrats and thank you for an amazing show May the fourth be with you and have a great day. Peace.